Uncle Tim's. It's all good. Hey, welcome to Uncle Tim's Farm. I'm Uncle Tim, and today I'm continuing work on my hydraulic boom crane that's mounted on a boat trailer, and it's going to be used for on-farm processing of cattle and possibly hogs. As you can see, I'm getting this big steel plate ready to weld on here, and this is what the base is going to mount to. So we'll get this welded on and get this start getting this thing assembled. All right, and we got that big plate welded on there. Just stitch welded it. It's not going to be going anywhere. <clears throat> now I'll need to go ahead and prep this base, find a, a center point on there, and mark where it's going to go, and figure out how far this way I want to set it, and then go ahead and get it welded on there. Lots and lots of measuring to make sure this thing is square. I don't want it being crooked. All right, I've got the that riser welded on there now, all the way around, and I'll be putting some braces on the back of it, back side of it here. A little bit later, coming down off of here, down to the base plate, just to add some strength to it. But I'll do that after I get the pivot points welded on the sides here. So that'll be the next step is Turning this boom over, raising it up high enough that I can back this trailer into place underneath it and get everything set where it needs to go and get those pivot points welded on there. And then I can paint this whole base up and start putting it together. 
Well, then I need to uh, get the uh, hydraulic pivot point mounted on here, welded on the base, and then figure out where it needs to mount to the boom, get that all set, and get, get that welded on there, and then... So it's not too far from being done, as far as... To most of the welding, I, I still have to weld on the pivot points and the hydraulic pivot point, hydraulic brackets, um, mounting points, but that's not a ton of welding. So, just keep on working on it, although I'm going to have to quit for the day because i got some weather coming in, so I'm going to need to get my welder and put up, get this trailer moved out of the way, out of my driveway here. And we'll get back to it once the weather clears up. Here I'm prepping this base to be able to weld on the plates that are going to hold the pivot point for the boom. So i got to grind all this uh, paint and primer, or actually it's just primer, grind all this primer off and then go ahead and get the plates welded on there. In order for the boom pivot to fit inside of the base pivot plate, I've got to have a spacer. So that's what this is here. I'm welding on a spacer to move the base plates out a little bit so that the boom plates will slide in between. And you'll see how that all comes together here in a bit. Now comes the fun part, flipping this boom over and getting it raised up high enough to be able to mount or line up the mounting brackets on the base. So basically what I'm having to do here is use these jack stands to raise this up a little bit at a time and then put some blocking under it, let the jack stand back down and then readjust it so that I can continue to get more height out of it. So when I got those jack stands, I figured they were plenty tall enough to be able to raise this up to where I needed it to be. But I'm beginning to see they were not near tall enough. And it's starting to get a little precarious. They're reaching their max height and I'm still 
not anywhere close to where I need to be. So I had to come up with a new plan because I'd reached the max of those jack stands. So now my plan is to pull these tires off and lower this trailer down onto these moving dollies and hopefully that will give me enough room to be able to get things to where they need to be. It looks like it's going to be just enough height difference that it's going to work out for me. That was close. If you look close, you can see some lines drawn on the sides of those plates so that I know exactly where they need to be to line up with the top of the base there. Here I realized that once I had the one side where it needed to go, I didn't actually need the boom in the way there anymore to get the other side lined up how it needed to go. So I went ahead and moved it out of the way and I'm trying to get this all level, square, set up where it needs to go. Now that I have both of those side plates welded on there, I needed to make sure everything was still going to line up and move smoothly before I do the final welds on everything. It's surprising how hard it is to get all four of those holes to line up exactly right. And there you go, it's all together with no binding, that thing moves freely, it's looking good.
Well, that's it for this episode. Be sure to hit that like button and make sure you come back to see the progress. Thanks. See ya. Bye.